Okay guys, I've had this little transistor radio for a while. I never finished troubleshooting the issue. I've already replaced all the uh, E-caps. But you can uh, hear it playing in the background. The sensitivity is very poor. It's a little five transistor receiver. Also get a lot of uh, distortion. And at the low end, it uh, drops out completely. Let me grab my uh, signal generator. Generate a tone at uh, 455 kilohertz. Okay, I believe the uh, red coil or the red top there is going to be the oscillator. This will be my first IF, second IF, and the reason I know this is the second IF, I've got my uh, detector diode located here. So pretty close alignment-wise there. Let me go to the second IF. And you can see the change I'm making. It's really not making much difference at all. And I think that's kind of where I left this off, looking at my notes. That I think something's uh, off here with the uh, second IF transformer. Let's do some additional uh, troubleshooting. See what we can uh, uncover. All right, looking back at my notes where I left off, I had reflowed the solder on the transformer, that second IF, secondary points here, primary points at this location. Again, it's uh, tapped in the center. We uh, look at DC resistance across that. I think I'd already checked it and DC resistance was good, but let me uh, just make certain one more time. See if I can get some glare off the meter. All right, 1 millihenry, 5.16, and then back to center tap in circuit around uh, 67, 68 microhenries and a little over 1 ohm of DC resistance. The secondary going over to the uh, detector diode. All right, 0.92 and around uh, 56 microhenries. All right, let me uh, pull this out. I'm going to check and see where the uh, transformer's resonating using my little tester that I built. I'll bring you guys back after I get this thing out. Okay, I think I've got everything ready to uh, remove. I may have to uh, hit the uh, transformer one more time, get it out of circuit here. All right, there we have it, the uh, primary side. and the uh, secondary side. All right, get the meter turned on and let me uh, recheck the inductance on the primary out of circuit. You can see we're about uh, 892 microhenries. We'll go back to the uh, center tap location. 5983. So we've got DC resistance. Let me go over to the uh, secondary side. Let that settle down there. So just north of one ohm of DCR and uh, 48 microhenries. Let me see what the uh, range of the inductance is. All right, I don't want to turn it any tighter than that. Just north of uh, one millihenry. And backing it out counterclockwise. All right. And it wants to stop right there. Maybe a little more. 
587. Okay, midpoint inductance wise, somewhere around 825. Yeah, we'll just call it 826. Let me see if I can adjust it back to that point. Somewhere close to that. You can see how touchy it is inductance wise. So it's got a pretty good cue, I have a feeling. So I think something's off here with the transformer. All right, we'll just call it uh, 831s. We're gonna leave it 830, 831. All right, let me hook up my little test meter and uh, let's see where the transformer resonates at. I've got the transformer hooked up across the entire primary. And what I'm looking for is a null as I rotate my signal generator. Again, just a CW carrier starting out right at uh, 455 kilohertz. And I'm gonna just rock it back and forth, lower and then higher. And uh, look for a sharp dip here on the meter. I'll put a link here and show just a segment of the uh, video that I uh, posted before on the uh, little breakout board. Simple circuit I put together to find the uh, resonant frequency of a parallel LC circuit. Again, it works really well. Here I'm just leveraging um, Arduino for the frequency counter. A stand-along frequency counter would work. Here's a look at the uh, little prototype build. And uh, you can see the uh, numeric numbers that uh, are posted on the display. Again, the capacitance in this case is fixed. It's part of my sketch value using my uh, RF signal generator again just to uh, feed the uh, signal to the unit. And again, in this case, my little LC circuit one RF choke, one uh, capacitor, again, just north of 100 picofarads. A little simple uh, breakout board that plugs directly into my uh, meter with the uh, diode section on the left side of the schematic itself. And you can see as I vary the RF uh, frequency, I'm looking for the least amount of uh, DC voltage at this point and that would indicate the resonant frequency of the circuit itself. Here I'm just using a little Harbor Freight uh, digital multimeter and built me a little small breakout board with the uh, circuit. So let me go ahead and start rocking back and forth. So you can see we are getting a dip. But not much. We should not zero out, but I should be down probably in the 10 to 20 uh, millivolt range. And I'm increasing the frequency. So it appears the uh, transformer is, of course, not open on the inductor side, but the capacitor and the uh, transformer uh, must be open. I think that's the uh, capacitor that you can see in the uh, center. I'll try to zoom in. Let me throw a capacitor in here in parallel with the inductor at about 150 picofarads. And uh, let's see if it resonates. We'll get the leads hooked back up. Again, there's all kinds of stray capacitance at this point because of my uh, lead wire. So I'm not really concerned about that right now. All right, let me grab a uh, capacitor and get that in place. All righty. I've got the uh, capacitor in place. Now let me rock the uh, signal generator back and forth. All right, let me adjust the uh, amplitude back down just a little bit. 
All right, I'm south of 455 kilohertz. And definitely you can see what I'm talking about where we're starting to resonate now as the uh, voltage decreases. Now it's climbing. So what this tells me, the uh, little capacitor internal across the entire primary winding is open and uh, that's probably why the uh, tuned circuit is uh, so wide and not narrow. Okay, I don't think I have a replacement transformer. I think I looked before. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, go ahead and put the uh, transformer back in and see if I've got a capacitor somewhere in the 100, 150 picofarads that I can uh, just solder in across the entire primary. Then we'll retest the receiver and uh, see if it perks it up just a bit. Not a high quality capacitor that I had on hand in the value that I needed. Marked as 150, reads around 137 picofarads. I'll pop up the formula so that should uh, resonate with the inductor. We'll find out here in just a moment. Alrighty, got everything back in the case and I've got the signal generator hooked back up and generating a uh, frequency of 455. You can hear how much more sensitivity we already have. And again, I haven't even done the alignment. We'll see if the second IF here now actually aligns. We hit the uh, first IF. Reduce the amplitude here just a bit. Okay, back together and playing. I've got the oscillator frequency uh, touched up just a bit. And of course the uh, IF alignment just by ear. Thanks for watching.